Okay, let's get straight into it. All right, Sammy, what is Louis's most annoying trait? Louis's most annoying trait? Um, well, I've roomed with him every trip, and he's he's not he sleeps all right. He doesn't snore. I think I'm the snorer, but yeah. worst trait, he's not got great banter, mate. He's got oh, no banter. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, interview over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Louis, your turn. Dump a minute. It's got to be stitching me up in front of mates. <laughs> any opportunity, any opportunity at all, he'll call me out, Escape throw goal. me under the bus. Terrible. Okay, for both of you, if there was only one song you could listen to for the rest of your life, what would it be? Yours are all the same. Fucking <laughs> just drum and bass, that's all you listen to. Festival music. You think that, but the one song always props up when the I've got to do karaoke or something. It's always Miley Cyrus, <laughs> Party in the USA. Classic. Will always be classic. No, I don't really have a. I don't really have a standout song. I'm just R&B. Bland. Yeah, bland. Pop. Anything. Okay, boys. How would you spend your last fifty dollars? Last fifty dollars. Didn't you say the other day strippers? <laughs> Wasn't that yours? Your last fifty. <laughs> last fifty dollars. I'd probably put it on. Man United to Man United to win and probably lose it, and I'd be out, down and out. Same betting, probably Liverpool win the league. Oh, I'd do the treble. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best player that you've both played against? I'll let you go first. No, you go first. Best player I've played against. Um, that's a hard one. Um, probably played. against Play. I thought, um, thinking, it's hard to think, but um, when we played that game against Phoenix, I thought um, Manny Musket was outstanding. I thought uh, he was a lot better than I thought he would have been. Cool. So I guess I was, uh, he was a real good player to play against, yeah. Cool. Um, probably with the first Club World Cup when we went to Barcelona and played against Espanyol, um, their number 10, the kind of short fellow that had real curly hair, he was phenomenal, just bossed the game. Um, I don't really know, I don't know what his name was, but he was class, absolute class, I think. Mm. Sammy, who would play you in a movie of your life? Who would play me in a movie? Is that someone I know, or could be anyone? Do you know any movie stars? <laughs> <laughs> um, probably, Louis does a media at university, so I'd probably give him the shout to do it, he knows me probably best out of anyone and I think it would be quite good, especially some of the videos that come out on these tours. I think it would definitely be a comedy over anything. Um, for me, probably Zac Efron. <laughs> Standard, I mean. <laughs> Both pretty boys. Okay, Louis, which player does uh, Sammy remind you of the most? Um, Um, I can't think. Maybe like a maybe like a cabai, yeah. Like in sitting in the in the middle of midfield, um, a little bit aggressive, but likes to win a foul, likes to lay on the floor after he's been tackled. <laughs> um, yeah, probably like a cabai. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy. Uh, Louis, Louis, keepers all the same, aren't they? <laughs> um, yeah. I'll just, I'll have to give you uh, Mignolo. Mignolo. He's crap. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give you like a Neuer or something. <laughs> Mignolo. Alright, Louis, your chance to get uh, Sam back. Which of the seven dwarves best describes <laughs> happy, dopey, doc, grumpy, bashful, sneezy, or sleepy? Careful. Probably dopey. <laughs> dopey. Yeah, he, he's always been one to kind of miss the beat, miss the joke. Um, it gets ripped on quite a lot by the lads. Um, yeah, don't be. <laughs> Sammy, on Louis? Um, grumpy. Grumpy? Grumpy. No way. How? Grumpy, definitely grumpy. This morning you were grumpy. Oh, no, <laughs> was he not? Uh, bringing me down all the time, that's why I'm so grumpy. Bringing down all the time. <laughs> Alright, Sammy, what's Louis' favourite TV show? Favourite TV show? It's probably, probably both of ours. Game of Thrones at the moment, yeah. I'd probably safe yeah. bet. Love Game of Thrones, great show. Yeah. Alright, here's another one for both of you. What's what's your 
most standout memory from last year's Club World Cup? It's got to be how loud it was when they scored the winner. I've never heard anything as loud in my life. It was, it was pretty, pretty breathtaking. Um, Especially for us, because neither of us played, but sitting on that bench, uh, it was hard to watch the game because the atmosphere was just unreal. Never thought because like the atmosphere would be like that. Especially that part of the world, football obviously big, but the fans they had and when they're chanting from side to side of the stadium was just... Particularly when you went and warmed up, warmed up in front of them. Yeah. There was that strip behind the far goal where like the core fans were and it was, they were just so loud, like fanatics. Yeah, it was, it was incredible. Great experience. Yeah. What are your hopes for the, the game on December the 10th? A lot. Uh, the biggest hope has got to be just to win it. Play. Uh, yeah. we, we play to our strengths and play how we want to play and be confident in the way we want to play, not sit back and let them attack us the whole time. And so I think, from everyone's point of view, getting that win and um, just showing the world what football we can play. We came close last year, and this year we just hope to do one better. Yeah, no, pretty much said it all. I think just a win, and that will be a great achievement for the club and everyone involved. I think.